Hello everyone, Boozy here. It's been a very long time since I posted a video and I seriously apologize about that guys. Um, it's been very, very busy over here in the Boozy household with baseball season well underway. It's also been flu season over here unfortunately and I've got three little boys that, um, you know, my sons have uh, had rounds of sicknesses going through here and I apologize. It's been just super, super busy but I'm hopefully back at it. Um, and I've, I've got a long string of videos planned and I'm ready to go. So with this one, I'm going to knock this one out super quick. Uh, one of my least popular videos has been my quick tips volume one. If you haven't looked at that, I highly encourage it. Um, because I've got a couple really good, uh, tips in there and I'm going to go ahead and continue that series now with this video, which is going to be volume two. Is going to be one of my quicker videos and these quick tips are just going to be a string of different videos uh, each centered around like two or three little quick tips to just kind of help you out you might might already know these um, but if you don't um, they are kind of some really cool things to just keep in mind so without further ado um, i want to show you a couple things here really really quick um, one tip number one for this video, when you're upgrading rooms, uh, some of these later on, some of these rooms can get quite expensive to upgrade. Um, and I'm now throwing room level 10 on my main account. Um, and some of these rooms are, uh, quite expensive. You can see some of them are upwards of, uh, you know, 7.5 million gold. Um, so on some of these larger ones, uh, such as, you know, the treasury and things like that. You can break these up by entering edit mode, just hold down on it, and you can break these up by, uh, you know, removing them or clicking the divide button. And you can, you can upgrade these rooms individually, just one little segment at a time. And so I would highly recommend doing that, and that way you don't have to come up with all that gold all at once. Now, this is, uh, you might say, well, duh, Boozy, you know, I already knew that. Well, um, what I'm telling you is this. One of my clan mates actually came up with this tip, and so all credit here goes to Enigma, and uh, that's Angelique, and she had a great idea here, specifically when it comes to upgrading your dining hall. Now, nobody likes to upgrade the dining hall because it could be several days and you're without food, and you can't do anything. So what you can do here is go ahead and divide up your dining hall. And so when you divide it up, you can go ahead and place a couple down there, but your third one, go ahead and place off to the side, save that thing. And then once you close it, now you've got one little section of your dining hall off by itself. You can go ahead and upgrade this one little section of your dining hall and still have this other section of your dining hall producing food. That way you're still producing food but you can go ahead and upgrade your dining hall section by section. Uh, when you're done, just divide up the, what is left over, upgrade that section, and then rinse and repeat. Over time, you'll, you'll go ahead and upgrade your entire dining hall, and you weren't actually out food. Um, you still maintained, uh, you know, the ability to produce food. So that's super cool. Uh, great little tip there. And again, I'm thanking um, Enigma for that. Uh, it was a great tip that she gave me, um, and I used it uh, when I had to upgrade my dining hall. But you can do that for all of those uh, segmentable rooms. So uh, tip number two, a lot of people don't know this, um, and it's very, very cool. Um, I learned this a long time ago, and when I taught it to others, people were like, oh my gosh, Boozy, thank you so much. Um, so I want to show you, you know, there is a hotkey that you can automatically equip, um, you know, your workers, not fighters, but every other worker job in your entire castle with the best equipment that you have available. And so as you start accumulating gear, um, you know, eventually you're going to start, you know, having just thousands and thousands and thousands, uh, like I do of, of gear out here. Um, and I mean, I can just keep going and keep going, keep going. That, this is all fighter stuff. But once I start getting down to the, the crafting stuff, there you go. Um, it, it starts to get kind of a bear to go through and you have to kind of click on each individual thing and go, no, that's, that's too big. That's too big. And you know, every time I level them up. Um, so real quick, if I just do this, it might seem like a chore to go ahead and equip him. 
Well, to equip him for any job, if I wanted to put him in like, you know, the treasury gear, I can just, instead of going through here and looking for treasury gear, I can just click the little job button over here to the side and click the equip button. I don't have anything that's level three, uh, but since he's level 20 in, um, you know, the, the lumber, uh, you can click that and see how it's uh, lit up as uh, green. Use the best equipment for the uh, from the warehouse. If you click that, it will automatically equip the best gear that you have available for his level in that job. Uh, that is true for every single job except for fighter. So um, I'll give you uh, some extreme examples of this. If I went in here and just unequipped everything I had from a couple people in this... Uh, room let's just do three of them let's show you how that works and again uh, a lot of you guys might already know this um, but for those of you that don't man it's a huge huge um, time saver here um, so if I need to equip him let's uh, say I just leveled him up um, you know on the cook side I can quickly just click that equip there you go um, same thing here, same thing here, and there you go. You automatically know that that's the best gear available for that job. Um, and as these guys, you know, level up here, um, that might no, no longer be the best gear available. Um, I can go ahead and switch that out, and then there you go. It went ahead and just made the necessary adjustments. So very, very quickly, I was able to sub out gear and didn't have to worry about it. Again, that does not work on fighters, just uh, the other jobs. If you ever want to check your current um, power level squad strength, you don't have to click on each individual um, you know, fighter here and add up all of their strengths and everything. You can click your little profile button up here in the top left-hand corner, um, and it will tell you right here what your current squad strength is that's in your uh, barracks. Uh, so right now mine is 2.2 million. If I pull out a couple, that will automatically change. Um, and that's just uh, tip number three. You can just very, very quickly see what your current squad strength uh, is just by clicking on that top left-hand corner right there. Uh, so there you go. That's um, tips one, two, and three. Um, tip number one, if you're upgrading these big, huge rooms, especially your dining hall, uh, hold down, segment those things off by dividing them, uh, upgrade them one little tiny room at a time, and that will save you um, quite a bit. You can kind of very quickly upgrade those with little, um, you know, one third of the cost. Um, and then tip number two, you can use that hotkey to gear your workers uh, much more uh, effectively and quicker. And then tip number three, you can quickly uh, judge your, your squad strength uh, just by clicking your, your little profile button at the top and seeing that on the left-hand corner. So that's it for these uh, quick hits. This is volume two. Um, I highly recommend that uh, you guys go check out volume one if you haven't already. Again, thank you very much for all the subscribers over the past month that I've been inactive. I'm, I'm very, very humbled um, by all of your comments. Um, please, please keep it up. I promise more content is coming out soon. I will do my best to answer all of your questions, even though at this point they're very, very late. Um, and I'm, I plan on staying up pretty late tonight and just recording as many videos as I can. I know I have some requests out there for, I have one for a castle tour of my own personal castle. I have one for Gem Bay. Um, I have, you know, a bunch of other requests out there and I hope to get to as many as I can tonight and I'm going to post them all just, um, as soon as I can. Uh, thanks a lot guys. If you have any other requests, um, please let me know and I hope to get those out very, very soon. See you later.